This channel supports 8-Bit Salute and Operation Supply Drop. Please help us raise money to help support our men and women in service throughout the world. Operation Supply Drop. Making fun where there is none. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Magus and taking a moment out of doing uh, my project at school because something interesting um, I noted on the internet. Uh, so, I'm like getting ready to get um, down to writing a couple of summaries for a project and I, I'm on Twitter and I notice um, there's a link that um, Twitch had, um, Twitter had up that said you can watch the Thursday night football game here. Now, what it is is it's Twitter Live, which is something I've experienced um, before. I saw a link for the presidential debate the second one and decided you know what let me see what the hell this is and sure enough it was the entire presidential debate live as it went on um this right here what i'm watching now is the broncos versus chargers game live the cbs broadcast of it and i'm just sitting here like wow this is pretty damn cool twitter is really trying to push this as a um feature now of course Twitter has always been mainly just about getting on and watching people have their conversations, uh, companies posting tweets about, um, and you know, certain things, announcements, things like that. For the most part, really Twitter has just been a den of fucking drama and hilarity because people say the damnedest things and do the damnedest things. And of course you get the ignorance, like a mass amount of ignorance, but Something like this, this changes some of the dynamics of Twitter because if you're able to not only watch something live on it and converse converse with other people. I was about to use that word that's not a word, by the way, people. You almost caught me there. I try, I try not to use that word. I, I, I don't think I ever said that word, so why am I trying to use it now? Anyway, um, but if you can converse with other people, and watch events live on Twitter. Just like with the debate, you got to see the ignorant and stupid reactions of some of the people on there who just really didn't have anything good to provide. But you also got to see the positive, the thoughtful reactions of people from the debate. It was really a cool experience. And I don't know why, why any social media sites have really not done this before. In fact, if you know of any social media sites that have done this, let me know because I'm thinking Facebook could have been started trying to do this. I mean, people get on Facebook and Twitter to respond live to damn near anything. Award shows, um, if a tragedy goes on, you know, major news events of any kind so on and so forth if you start doing stuff like this like major sporting events just imagine sitting on twitter watching the world series the super bowl um the world cup my god if they put the world cup on twitter that would be such a huge thing to be able to sit there and talk with people from all around the world and get their reactions on the games and their team. <laughs> this is something that's really, really cool. And it also is something that I'm sure makes cable companies even more nervous because on the flip side of just being a great way of having live events become more social, at least so from an online perspective, you also are providing now other alternatives for people to view. There's all already a m- mass amount of alternatives for viewing um, TV content. Netflix, Hulu, um, even cable companies have decided to provide their own on-demand stuff online because people more and more are trying to shy away from having cable service. And that's their way of trying to tie people into cable services. But you have places like HBO, which I've said before they did it. And I even more say it now that they have done it. 
if you take premium channels like HBO, Showtime, which has also followed suit, and they provide a subscription-based service for their stuff, and you have these things like Hulu, Netflix, um, now networks, you know, major broadcasting networks like CBS, ABC, they're looking into possibly starting something where you can get live broadcasts of their shows without having to have cable TV to provide that signal if you don't buy an antenna, which can be iffy. Um, as someone who doesn't have cable TV and only has an antenna, I know it can be iffy at times um, getting a signal, which is how it had always had been before cable became the thing that everybody got. But if they all start following this wave and streaming <laughs> live TV becomes a thing. I mean, I've told you guys about PlayStation View, and it's an amazing service. It's very affordable. You get a lot out of it, and more and more markets are starting to add live broadcast TV, which I think is an extra 5 or $10 to the service. So you'll pay something around $40, $50 for over 100 channels plus local broadcast, which comparable to what you pay for cable TV, whatever. All you're going to do is pay your internet, and you're going to pay them that service, and that's it. You know, you just have to have decent enough internet, and you don't even have to have high-end internet to provide it. So, think about all of these things. These become, like, extremely more popular, and more people jump on this wave. More companies start providing stuff like this to jump on the wave. I mean, hell, even YouTube is starting to do stuff like give movies from theaters and start getting licenses from that to make theaters almost obsolete. This is going to change a lot of things. Um, well, I don't think like the theater thing, the movie thing is going to change the movie going experience because people like to go out to the movies. The cost of cable TV is ridiculous. The continual, the continuing raising of prices by these um, service providers for cable TV is annoying. And if you can like get these cheap, affordable streaming options, just and just maintain. Um, a decent enough not high-end internet service to like be able to utilize all this why not why not so just um wanted to talk about that really quick because i just think this is a great move for um media and hopefully if anything even if it doesn't break the hole that cable has on society it was maybe this is going to start making them think more about hey, why do we keep raising these prices that are already ridiculous when there's cheaper options popping up all the time? We need to reevaluate what we're doing and perhaps start competing against these services so that we because I'm sorry, Comcast giving me on demand with their cable TV online isn't enough because. I can get like so many other services and get access to so many of the things that I want to see without even having to have your cable service. So what are you doing for me with your high prices giving me that little bone? You know what I mean? So it's very interesting. Very interesting um, the way things are going. But anyway, as always, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think and I'll holler at you later. This your boy Black Megas and I'm out. This is.